Welcome back, you beautiful people. You're still locked in at your feel-good breakfast show. And of course, who says you can't have ice lollies for breakfast? I don't know. Well, think muesli bowl on a stick with a frozen version, of course, and they are nothing short of delicious. And here to show us how it's done is our very chilled in-house man of the moment, Chef Clem. How you doing, brother? I am feeling chilled, but also very motivated. You guys were killing it with the motivation today. Yeah. I feel like I just want to go and climb a mountain immediately after the show. Yeah, Rick just made me want to like just take over the world, man. He's awesome. Honestly, he's so cool. And I think we've got the fuel to do it, Jazz. Yes, well, right? absolutely. So, what's so we're going to make here? these amazing little fruity bars. And I like it because, like you said, who said you can't have ice lollies? For breakfast. Yeah, here's a jolly to make you lolly. Let's do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I did there, but let's just put that Let's up. start with our let's start with our jolly. So we're gonna what well, we're gonna hit it with some fruit first of all, okay? okay. Not just for kids, but for adults as well. I was also taking stock of how many fruits and vegetables I ate last week. Not that much. Disappointed okay. in myself. So, so here's a good way to get the, the, the quota in. Absolutely. Okay, so we I hit got it. You. But these are beautiful. These, what I love about frozen fruits is they're actually frozen at their prime. So it's the best flavor. You're going to get all the nutrients. Just because it's frozen doesn't mean you're going to get less quality. These should live in your freezer at all times. Okay. So these are going to go into a pan. We're going to soften them slightly. And I'm going to sweeten them with a little bit of honey. And this is up to you. If you like the fruits are already sweet. Oh, if yeah. you want to make it a little sweeter, a little bit of honey is good. Okay. And it actually gives you flavor. And yeah. honey, I mean, it's a, it's a great superfood to add if you want some sweetness in. Honey is really, really good for that. I mean, it's out of the, the glucoses that you do get. It's more yeah. of low GI. So it's not a bad one to Absolutely. add if you want that extra sweetness. And if you want something extra, of course, you guys can head over to taste.co.za where you can get this recipe inspiration. And if not, and you're watching us live, live right now, then stick around. Stick around. To make Absolutely. A little bit of honey going in. What I love about Willie Willi is they're using... Badger friendly honey. Badger which, friendly honey? Which sounds like, oh, that's random, but it's not. Okay. It's all about being sustainable yeah. where we source our honey from. And badger friendly honey means we're also we're keeping the environment in mind. We're not just taking all the honey and leaving that the natural. I got you. So we're actually keeping something there for the honey badgers and not taking away all yes, the food source. Exactly. But, you know, I never ever thought of that. And I think if that conscious uh, parameter kind of increases, uh -huh. I mean, that's where it goes to. So I really love the fact that we're being aware while indulging. Absolutely. Love it. Nature Boy loves it too. I knew yes. you would. I knew you would. Okay. So what you're going to do is we're going to stew our fruit so it looks like this. Ooh. You can chop it down a little bit if you want. Nice and chunky is also pretty good. Yeah. So now we're going to work on our muesli. So the muesli is really great. That's going to go in. Also a little bit of honey in there. So that's really great. And it's got the fruits in there. It's got the fiber. It's Quick got everything that you question, need. Question, before we get back into the muesli, one, one more thing on the fruit here. The fact that you're putting in the pan, uh -huh. does it change the sweetness? Does it go more bitter or, or, or not when you are kind it's of just to mushing it up? It's just to mush it up, to okay. soften it so it can get into our beautiful mold. Okay, okay I got so you, got you. muesli in, and then we hit it with the yogurt. It is double cream yogurt. It's delicious, double thick as well. It's so good for you. Yeah. No added preservatives, but there is something that they have added. And it's about, about a million-ish things that they've added. I got you, I got you. You know what so it those is? Are those, those cultures you're talking exactly. about, right? The probiotics, probiotics. Exactly, yes. they're so important. And I always get the name wrong, so it's over there. It's Bifidobacterium cultures. And Bifidobacterium like, cultures. It's, I sound word, so eh? fancy. <laughs> and the thing is, what they do is they aid your digestive system, which mm. is good for your gut. And something I've learned, and I'm still learning a lot about, 70% of your immune system happens here. Yeah. So if exactly you're looking after that. your gut, looking after yourself, it also affects your mood. And like I said, your immune system, that's super, super important. 100%. And you know what? Even better, just to add to this, a lot of the guys that are now intermittent fasting to yeah, free yeah, up yeah. that capacity and allow them to go back to homeostasis and reach that ample level of like, let's just call it health. Uh -huh. The best way to break that fast Break the fast is with a breakfast like this. You've got all your macros, you've got the honey, you've got the energy coming in, you've got all those good gut health bacteriums coming in from the yogurt, of course, and everything else that's added to this is just sublime. It's fruit. Wow, you, you, you're stuff. teaching me so much. I yeah, love that man. so much. Okay, so to bring out the flavor of your fruits, heat up with a little lime, a little bit of acid. We know that acid brings out the flavor of things. Mm. Get that little, little bit of that in there. Then all you gotta do is start putting it in your mold. So, like I said, keep it nice and chunky, keep your fruits nice so and chunky. So, fruit goes in first. You know what? You whatever you want to okay, go first. Okay. It's absolutely up to you. This is a great part where you get the kids to come into the kitchen and get them to like get involved in it. And I also feel once you see so you can kids, make the best ice cream. We can absolutely. Have to make a competition out of it. <laughs> when it comes to food like this, once you give kids a little bit of responsibility, they feel yeah. like they've owned their meal and they enjoy it a little more. And this is super simple. You're gonna just keep on layering it up. I'm gonna do just that one for now. I'll finish the rest of the later. 
The stick goes in, it goes into the freezer, and you know what? There's nothing wrong with them having it for breakfast. Yeah. What are they, what, like they're getting everything, they're getting... So literally they are, Clem, I mean, you've got the fiber coming through from the fruit, right? Uh -huh. You've got your good nutrients coming through from the fruit as well. So you've got your vitamins and good minerals. Then you've got your good gut health coming from the yogurt as well. And then the fact you've got the granola added into that as well, it's going to give you just that perfect balance. Tick, it's the tick, energy, tick, the carb. Tick, 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 tick. And of course, go tick it off again if you want to check it out. Taste.co.za. It is the perfect way to break the fast. That's why we're calling it breakfast. And Chef Clem, my man, you have delivered. Did the lolly make you jolly? It made me jolly. <laughs>